Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Stafford Ice Arena in Plattsburgh, New York, where tonight the Oswego State Great Lakers will take on the Plattsburgh State Cardinals in the SUNYAC Finals. I'm Joe Yurton alongside Dom Izzo tonight. Dom, I tell you, it doesn't get any bigger than this. It does not, Joseph. This is for the SUNYAC Championship, a right in the automatic bid to go play in the NCAA Division III Hockey Tournament. Season series is 2-1 in favor of Plattsburgh, but Oswego with the momentum. They won last time in this building in overtime. It was Matt Bashaw, the same guy we saw win the series against Portland, who got the game winner against Plattsburgh. When we come back, we'll have the start of game one of the Suniac Finals here on WTOP. Comes over to the slot. Here's a shot from Kilkin, knocked down. Caught over the skates right now. Quickly shot, they score! Tough play there in front. That puck was bouncing in around all over the place. And that shot right there by the side of the net. Rang off the far post, up into the crossbar, dropped right down into the net. Great job there by Plattsburgh. The penalty ends up crossing the Lakers here. They're crossing the Lakers while the score was tied. Caribs penalty pays here as the tennis balls have entered the ice now. It's just going to take a couple minutes to clean this one up. So exactly much what you want, exactly what you said though, Joe. What happened, they get the power play, they turn it around, they get the goal. The Lakers were doing a good job up until that point. Marinich with a pass out of the far side. Control back, Marinich once more, near center. Crosses the blue line. Marinich still controls. Centers a pass that goes through the crease of line. Hurlman with a shot, that one knocked down. Hurlman feeds it back over to Rozak. Down to the final 10 of the period. Rozak on it now. Rozak just waiting here. Out of the back, here's Elliott. Back to Rozak, out of five. Rozak with a slapper, he scores! Power play goal! Rozak with a slapper, gets through. And a big shot there by Andy Rozak. He was getting heckled in the pregame skate by these Plattsburgh fans. Didn't like the way he played here in the Pepsi tournament in December. And he comes right back there with a big goal. I don't know if that was deflected in front by Hurleman. Hurleman set the screen down low. But the Lakers tie this one up late here in the second period. Great shot by Rozak. You're right, Joseph. Threw another screen. Another power play goal. Each team converting here on the power play in this second period. There's two things you don't want to do. Don't want to take a penalty. Don't want to allow a goal in the last minute. Plattsburgh did both. For Plattsburgh, that just encapsulizes how this how this game's really gone for them because they've been making mistakes all up and down the ice. And for them right there, the Lakers capitalize on a major league mistake as they got caught on the hold as the Lakers finally got some chance to attack. And right there, Andy Rozak capitalized on the best way possible. And how the momentum is going here into the locker room. Landsberg has to feel dejected here going into the locker room after getting the lead, then losing it in the last three seconds. And the Lakers got to feel good about themselves getting a goal with only three seconds left here in the period. Rozak does get credit for the goal there. I believe Nate Elliott will also get an assist on the play as he did the drop pass over to him. And for the Lakers, they've just completely swung the momentum on this game right there just in the final 10 seconds as they nodded up here at one. And I tell you the way, I, I had a feeling we were gonna see a goal there before the period ended because the way the Lakers were moving around the ice and the way they were able to keep the play in the final 30 seconds, I just knew something good was gonna happen. I don't wanna, I wasn't gonna jump on your words and say, we're gonna have something here, but just the feeling I got in the pit of my stomach that it's, Rozak, all he had to do was put the, put the puck on the net and something good was gonna happen. And it did. All right, after two periods of play, it's the Oswego State Lakers one, the Plattsburgh State Cardinals one, and we'll be back here for the third period on WTOP. But Redder comes up with a puck. Rob Redder, pass across, over to Marshall. Marshall skating way in, comes out of the net, comes away, and they score! Marshall worked his way around and out, lost their way out of position. And a great job there by Marshall to come around and make that, make that goal. He made a great move Smith tries to make a move. Nice move for French. That's good! Smith ties this game at two! What a great move to the back end. Smith found the opening of a strong five. Slipped the back and went across the ice and Sunberg had no chance and still comes through huge. Ties this game at two. 
And finally a turnover in their own end has finally cost the Cardinals in this game as they were unable to clear the puck out of the zone. Bob Emery very upset here. But Plattsburgh got away with a couple of penalties as Rozak got wiped out away from the play. Plattsburgh tried to back into their own end. Couldn't get the puck out of the, out of the zone and Smith capitalizes in a big way. Eerily similar to the Vash shot the goal that they couldn't get out. Smith takes advantage, you said Joe. Capitalizes on the opportunity and ties this game. It's a, we are going to end this game. Barring a ridiculous shot here with a second to go and a 2-2 tie. Plattsburgh had their opportunities there in overtime, three different breakaway chances. Jason Kilkin had a chance, the game was on his stick, and Lawford saved it right there. He's got to feel good about himself. I know he's really disappointed in the fact that the Marshall goal went in, but boy, he saved his, his team's bacon there in overtime with a great save on the Kilkin opportunity. Each team gets one point, each team deserves one point, and We'll see. We got a winner tomorrow night. The Levant's on fantastic hockey game here tonight, though. Yeah, you really couldn't ask for a more exciting oh, finish out of this one. Man. Smith ties the game with about two and a half minutes to go. And then both teams battling hard the rest of the way. Lakers killing off a penalty there with the under under two minutes to go in the third period and killed off the rest of it into overtime. I tell you, well, just an amazing game here tonight. But both teams, something to take away from this. Lakers very sloppy in overtime. Cardinals sloppy the, the other 60 minutes. I, I agree with that. Plattsburgh has to feel, I think they have to feel pretty, I guess, glad the fact they got one point out of this mm -hmm. game. They really didn't play themselves the entire game. Oswego State really did exactly what they wanted to do. They wanted at least one out of tonight's game. They got that. Now the opportunity to play a strong game tomorrow night try to get the win tomorrow night. Expect to. Expect both teams to come out with both guns a-blazing tomorrow night, trying to end this series on a Saturday night. Yeah. They, I don't think any te either one of these teams wants to come back on Sunday afternoon <laughs> and try to decide this, especially after going all out the night before. You know, this game gets over here at 9.30 right now. You don't want to come back less than, you know, yeah. less than 12 hours later, or about, excuse me, got my timing all wrong, 15 hours later and try to decide decide their season's fate. Absolutely here. What a fantastic game here tonight. Each team going back and forth. Plattsburgh, really, you are right. They didn't play all like a Cardinal hockey game. They were sloppy throughout the entire game. They finally, they had a couple chances there in overtime. They never really got it. So they finished with a 2-2 tie. Kilkin had a wonderful opportunity, and he's got to feel pretty, you know, pretty bad about himself. He had, a, he had the opportunity, the game on his stick, but what a great save there by Joey Lawford. Played good tonight. I wouldn't be surprised we see him back here tomorrow night. I, I think you would have to you would have to hit Joey Lockberg with a bust to not have him in the game tomorrow night, because he has just played outstanding in the, these two games. The two games he's played against the Cardinals here in the second half of yeah. the season, he's 38 saves in January tonight, making about the same here tonight, I believe. I don't get didn't get the final shot numbers there, but Joey Lockberg, I tell you, wow. I mean, Rob Kilkin down low three different occasions on this game, and that one time right there in overtime. Fantastic couple All right, everybody, welcome there. back to Plattsburgh, where tonight the Lakers played a very gritty, gutsy game against the Cardinals. Cardinals got up on them 2-1 to one late yeah. in the third period. Give the Lakers a lot of credit. They came back. Absolutely. Rob Smith with a game-tying goal with just over three minutes left to play in the hockey game. Forces overtime where Plattsburgh had three quality opportunities to win this game. I think they got to feel disappointed in themselves. They really didn't play a full game. The Lakers did. They played a fantastic game tonight. They got exactly what they wanted. They wanted at least one point on tonight's game. Now it's, you know, go for the goal there tomorrow night here. A win by either team, and they advance on. What do you expect to see out of tomorrow night's game? I ex more hitting, more aggressiveness. I don't think we can get any more tense than we did here tonight, but we probably will. A bigger Swiggle fan base probably, and Plattsburgh's fans, I think, will come out tomorrow night and will be authoritative, and Coach Emery will get his team into this game tomorrow night. So with that, tomorrow night, game two, each team with a point already. If they come away with a win, whichever team comes away with a win, it's all over. But if we tie again, we'll be back again on Sunday. So for Sean Ganley, Dom Izzo, I'm Joe Yurden. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with game two.